Hello, if you're anything like me, you probably have hundreds of photos, maybe thousands of photos on your smartphone. This is a particular favorite of mine. My wife took it of me. We both visited an apple orchard in the Blue Mountains outside of Sydney, Australia. And my wife set this shot up and used my phone to capture me outside the store connected with the apple orchard. Um, beautiful photo, unsurprising because my wife used to be a professional photographer. People would pay her to capture their memories. Usually when their children were young, she would present photos to them. Uh, the families, her clients would order photos from her. But this was back in the day where photographic prints were more of a thing. So before the smartphone, before the Apple iPhone. So her clients would order prints off her. I would actually help her with this side of the business. We would get the photo, photos printed. First, uh, it was film, the film would be scanned, then we'd print the file, then she had a digital camera. We would still print the file. They would come back as photographic prints. Uh, we would then send them to the framer. So all the work, all the talent, my wife had on display would actually turn into a physical artifact that her client could hang on the wall um, for them to enjoy, for friends, family, extended family to enjoy. But I guess it was in 2007 when the iPhone was released and it had a decent camera, people weren't so... They weren't so interested in engaging the services of a professional photographer because, you know, they could take half decent pics themselves with their smartphone. But what happened is all these memories people were collecting no longer became physical artifacts like the framed prints my wife would give to clients. So if something happens to your phone, you drop it or you lose it, um, and all your memories are on there, uh, you can't retrieve them, they're gone forever. So once again, this photo, my wife did such a good job of it and she actually recommended to me, you know, could we get it printed? Could we get it framed? And I had a look around, I did a search on the internet and I was surprised to find that there are a lot more options today to turn a digital image into a physical artifact. Um, there's more available than just simply prints or frame prints on the wall. So we took this image and turned it into a physical artifact. Here it is. The photo is uh, printed on the back of a big block of acrylic. And now this great image, which before this was created, only existed as a file on my smartphone, is now a physical artifact. It's going to be around long after I'm gone, I think. So that's something I would actually recommend to you, is go through your phone and think about some of your favourite photos and look at turning them into physical art artefacts. I mean, it doesn't have to be a big block of acrylic. It, it could simply be something on photographic paper that you put uh, in a desk frame because photographic paper will probably last longer than your phone. Now, maybe you won't lose your phone or you won't drop it or break it. Or I can hear some objections, Tim, but you know, my photos aren't just on my phone. I've uploaded them to the cloud. I've uploaded them to Google Photos. And yeah, well, that is, um, that's another level of protection. But what if the cloud wasn't always there? I mean, we take it for granted that we will always have access to the internet, access to these devices. But if something happens to it and our whole up life is uploaded to the cloud, which is someone else's computer and we lose access to that, um, Will there be any evidence we're even here if there's no uh, photographic artifact to actually um, 
record that we're here. And you know, this is not an exaggeration. I was reading about an event known as the Carrington event, which happened in 1859. It's called the Carrington event because it's named after a British astronomer, Richard Carrington. He observed a massive solar flare. Um, the sun emitted it, uh, the radiation, the solar energy hit the earth, hit the earth's atmosphere in 1859 and actually caused havoc with the technological infrastructure of the time. So 1859, we didn't have the cloud, we didn't have the internet, we didn't have smartphones, we didn't have PCs, but we did have a sophisticated communication system for the time, the telegraph system where humans would communicate to each other through telegraph wires. Now, the Carrington event, this massive emission of solar energy, actually fried a big chunk of the telegraph infrastructure at the time. Now, that was almost 170 years ago, which, you know, to our short lifespan seems like an eternity, but from the sun's point of view, that's hardly any time. And so we're overdue for one of these events again. So what will happen to our technological infrastructure? I mean, solar energy hits the earth all the time. Our atmosphere protects us from it. Um, some of the side effects is quite pretty, like the northern lights and the southern lights is basically geomagnetic storms from the sun's energy hitting the earth. But what I'm talking about, the Carrington event, isn't just a simple solar storm. It's uh, categorised as a CME, a coronal mass ejection. And if we get another one of those, um, our GPS systems could go, global positioning, uh, our satellite infrastructure could go, a lot of electronics uh, could fry. Um, that includes the internet, that includes the computers powering the internet. And, you know, I don't want to be too much of a downer, but why I'm thinking about this is, aren't our memories precious? If we've recorded, you know, photos near and dear to us or friends and family, in this case, like my wife has taken a lovely photo, don't we want to uh, turn it into an artefact so it stays around a lot longer than, well, longer than we stay around. So um, anyway, I think your memories, I think you owe it to your memories, your family, friends, loved ones, even your descendants to, um, you know, record some happy memories for them that won't um, be on a smartphone or on a hard drive or on someone else's computer. So that's my recommendation to you today. Go through your smartphone, go through your cloud drive and see what precious memories you can turn into a beloved physical artefact.